Hello, welcome. It has come to our attention after 30 years that there is, in fact, <laughs> a Z-Doom launcher. It's, uh, originally it was made by uh, someone who worked at um, BioWare, I think it was. Um, so it's not official, but sort of semi-official. <laughs> um, this has probably been out for like 20 years, and we've never... At least I always, maybe I heard yes. about it, but I just kind of like my mind ignored it. Or it something, sounds you know? like it's been out probably as long as Z- Z-Doom has been out. So, yeah. Um, and if, what's nice about it is it actually has all of the settings that you could ever want to change, including those weird ones like the net mode and like, you know, the other co- co- really? co-op ones. Yeah. So if you first thing you have to do, though, is you have to set up, you have to actually click on the other tab, general settings at the top. Huh? And here... You'll see the two fields. One of them is labeled source ports, and the other one is labeled IWADs. So you need to load into that what like each one. So the source port is your ZDoom itself. So go add item. And you need to find your ZDoom.exe. Your G- GZDoom, because you're using GZDoom. Found it. Yeah, and so what's nice about this is you could have more than one version of GZDoom loaded there, or you could use Zand- right. Zandronum or whatever other. Even though we decided the hard decision, hard decision was made, which is only one point, sorry, four point eleven point three, because we're not going to twelve, because it's uh, it ruins everything. So many mods break with it. So, but so here you can basically load load more than one, and you'd be able to choose whichever one you want to use from the yeah. list. So you can have them all loaded in. We are just... forever instead of forever twenty one, forever seventeen, <laughs> forever four point eleven. Okay, and then so we are. and then you need to load your iwads on the right side. Okay. Can you select multiple or just one at a time? I don't know. Try. I never. I didn't try it. You try it. What the fuck? Ah, oh uh, no, no, no. I you, clicked too fast. The world could, is ending. You could just go Control Z and it would undo that. But no, no, um, like no, 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 no. I don't do that. All, it's that's all of them. It's all the games right there. Them. So I will delete, right. delete these later. <laughs> I'll deal with that later, sir. <laughs> All right, there you go. It says the version. That's cool. And it knows. Yeah, see, Strife Veteran Edition is even in there. Okay, very good. Heretic. He's got everything. Got it all for Blood. Well, Blood is a different game. <laughs> different game entirely. Okay. Now what? All right, and then, um, so I think that's all you need to do. Now you have to go back to the other tab. Uh huh. You add the map packs. Um. Yes, and then there. Yes, you choose the external f- files. Yes, these would be like your map packs. Yes. Let's say I'm adding, like Jimmy's um, Genesis. But it uses two wads. Does he know how, how to deal with that? Does he know how to spell Genesis with a oh, G? What he's oh, because it's Jimmy. So Genesis. Oh, I get it, J. Just Jimmy's Genesis. Oh my god. He not only knows how to spell, he is beyond you. <laughs> <laughs> he's beyond spelling. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. So it uses this as the main wad, but then also loads the secondary wad. How do you load those together? I'd like to know. Just open both. Stop copying, right. dragging shit. That's what you're, how you're copying it. Jesus Christ. You see. Control drag is like a copy thing in Windows, but what I did. Uh, now this needs to be loaded. This fix one needs to be loaded after this one. So that's why there's a little arrow buttons down at the bottom there. See that? Oh, no, no, on the right side. It's kind of far, but it's still underneath the box technically. Yes. Right. So select one of now what? Select the one you want to move and click the fucking arrow. Wow. I'll come back but to now, Windows 3.11, 1993. Now, how, do, how does this know that this is part of the map pack called Genesis? What do you mean? It loads all of them. What are you talking about? What do you mean it loads all of them? Those are all the external files that it will load. What are you talking about? It's like if you did a dash file and you put th- two files in a row in the dash file. Okay, but then how do you add another WAD, a different WAD? What do you mean a different or WAD? A different, like, like now I want to load Udino instead of this. Oh, you'd have to remove those and then put Rudino. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's no way to... Uh, how, do you, how do you choose different, multiple different ones at the same time? So for that, you'd have to do... Down at the bottom, there's a ZDL menu. 
and then you do save ZDL or load ZDL. These are basically your profiles. So you hear you'd put like, you know, the, yes, something All like right. that. Now that one's saved. Yes. You could load it. Try to make yeah. a new one. Um, wait, is there a folder? What's that folder thing? What's the folder icon? Add directory. No, you don't want to. Do, I don't know if you don't want to do that. No, no, no. I'll leave them in the like an absolute barbarian in the now, root folder. Everything. Okay. Now, what I wonder is, will it actually launch with all those, or do you have to like highlight more than one or something like that? So the one way you can check is if you click on the ZDL menu again, and there's a thing at the top, actions, show command line. It'll tell you what it will be doing. Of course, it uses absolute oh, paths, nice. like an absolute fucking boom bats. By the way, look at that shit. Full fucking well, path. space in it, so. I know, but still, it's, why is it using the instead of a relative path? It's doing the C, you know, the full C path. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty clown, but yeah. Um, but anyway, so you could see what it would do. Um, yeah. So I guess I guess you would have to remove the. Is that pretty boom bats? You think that you'd have to remove the wads? Like oh, and, I, and manually add them back and forth. Yeah, I would rather just load the profile for each one. It's already set up. I don't. Yeah. And how I, do you? I guess I get it, especially if there's like more than one file for each one. But yeah. Now, what about like um, how do you choose which iWad it uses? I think it's the one you have selected on the right there. Okay, so that's all right. So let me go so and save if, it. Well, I. Th well, check the act. Check the actions thing. Check the command line. Yes, it added it. Very cool. Yeah. Wait. So, what are you saving? I thought you were already on that one when you saved it already. Well, because I didn't click on that Doom Two now. Now it does show it. So I might want to resave it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Might want to resave it. That's cool. Now, how about like special command line parameters, like the. Um, Yes. If I want to make one posting and co-op. Yes, okay. So there's a down at the bottom where it says launch, bottom right. Giant button launch. Don't click that. But next to that, yes, exactly. Click that little arrow, drop down, and it brings up all that extra co-op-y stuff. Oh, very nice. And look, you can just change the single player mode. Um co-op. And then so you see where the next drop down right below that where it says players and it says joining. So that is how you choose if you want to be like a host one, two, three, or if you wanted to join. So that's why Super good. if you do host, you wouldn't actually need to put the host name IP, but if you're joining, you would have to put the host name IP in the port is on the right side there. It has the uh, you, DM you, flags. How does it determine on here who's hosting, who's joining? That's, that's what I was just explaining. That's, it's right there. The players drop down. You would choose joining. Oh, very cool. And then you have to put the host name. My it would be my IP there, and then the port on the right, which I think is five zero two nine or something. But then there's the DM flags right below that. Oh, nice! And then even at the very very bottom left, it has that net mode stuff. Oh, okay. Which I think by default is automatic, but we've encountered it before where it chooses the wrong one on automatic. There mode. was a map pack or two where we had to mess with this. And then it works force it when we were trying to play with uh, Peter from Italy because he's like the right the ping had if to if be. If you have like three players or four, and some of them are from different countries, then if you mess with this, it might work better between all of you. Yeah, and then the, what's that dupe thing? That that's I think the amount of times it duplicates the the net thing to be to have more redundancy or something like that. Um, I see. I don't know what extractic is. What the fuck is that? Stratic. I don't know. We'd have to look extra, that one up. Extra, extra. Oh, extra tick. Extra tick. Extra tick. Oh. <laughs> Extratic. Extra tick. We did use that. We also <laughs> messed with that as well. When yeah. Peter Potts joined. Extra tick. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if it helped or not, but it has all the it has all the things that you can possibly. Now the only thing I struggled with is this last part, the save game part, with when we we're trying to do strife. Uh -huh. You know, um, yeah. there's a drop down on the right. Little there's a little drop down there where you can choose browse. But the problem I didn't is, the same game. but yeah. But then the problem was that when I did this, it didn't work. Like it, like I chose the save, and then I chose like uh -huh. you know, whatever file and just like select it. Yeah. 
and like choose one. I mean, actually do it. And then see it writes the path in there. See downloads. Uh-huh. It has the correct path. But when you. You chose strife and everything? Yeah. But when I actually launched it, it gave an error. Like it was point, trying to point the path to some very re- weird. Like. I had to just basically rewrite the path as like colon colon uh, dot dot slash save slash save zero zero dot cds oh, like okay. to, but then, and then i got it to work that way but oh aren't you clever oh, that's good which is the relative which is the relative path method and look there's also map and skill right on the right side so for you you would choose the map we're launching into which is very cool because normally you have to type it yourself yeah and then um You're hosting the th- it's kind of annoying to choose the save file name for like strife for example but it was easy enough this to... is weird i know i mean the very hard is nightmare so that's actually we're choosing hard is ultra violence it's kind of weird yeah it's probably because it's you know not the same for in games, all the games yeah just it's because it also works with strife and heretic so they have to just choose a you know more standard yeah set so ch- using the browse this is ultra violence using the browse thing for the save game was not very good when I was trying to switch between loading the quick save and the normal save in Strife, like when I was testing it, but just changing the number by typing right there in that field, like save zero zero, changing that to save zero three, just literally changing one number, is was pretty fast. And then it would just like launch, you know. And you had to do dot dot save like this. Um, yeah, but it might be different for you because I put my um. My thing goes in a different folder that's not relative. So if wherever this you dot slash current folder slash save slash yes save file yes. for me yes I think so yeah dot slash means current current one yeah actually we were slashes are the other direction oh wait wait, it, it, oh, it, it? wait no it did that so it's it's using it's doing the, it this way for some reason it's a Linux user error <laughs> it's, a, it's a Linux brain user brain error they do, like this is the preferred way. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna set up all my different ones, and then map packs, and then you can set it up for join, and I'll set mine up for host, and then you know we'll try it. Very cool. Um, what about like um, loading custom things. The last thing, the last thing, loading like our 150 skins dot wide. Would you also just put it in here in the order you want it? Uh, yes. Yeah. We just add it there. Yes. Um, I think that's all we do. I don't think we do anything beyond that. And now I'm thinking, like, saving the profiles to me is, I think, maybe more. How do you do that again? You go over here. ZDL. And, save. And then you, go, you can, yeah, you can go lay, low, or have one for Strife. Um, I probably wouldn't make one for every map pack we play. I would probably just make one for Strife, one for Doom, and I would probably just load the Doom one and then just, like, change out the external files. And, like, because I would have, like, the 150 skins loaded and also the... Co- uh, survival co-op mod that we use or whatever and then I also have a Dayhud modded PK3 file that I load and then the map pack we're playing would be the fourth file so I would just like remove that and then add the other one it's not okay, that hard fair, yeah. it's not that so hard most of the time you're just changing the main wad that's all you're changing yeah exactly so you just like remove it and add it but I understand like it would be nice if it was set up in a way where you could just be like have them all in there and then you just like highlight select the, the current ones you want to launch with or something like that right what if it does do yeah. that can you try clicking one of the wads at the left there like highlighting it and now check the ZDL launch parameters No, it's still doing them both. Okay, just checking. <laughs> you know, or like another another way would be like, you know, almost like layer settings in Photoshop where you can toggle a little eye on and off, like a check or check. How about a checkbox, a check mark? <laughs> you know what I mean? To, so you can have them all loaded, but you don't have them all checked. You know, and then the ones you check are the right. ones that launches with. Just other ways to keep it like. There's a there's a thief launcher I use, which actually does that. It's very good. You can just checkbox the one you want to load. And then you uncheck, you know. Well, pretty, pretty I I cool. think this is actually open source, so I think you could edit the code and <laughs> it's just, good enough. I'm gonna literally copy paste the code into Grok and say, "Add me some checkboxes," <laughs> and then send me the code back, and it'll it'll figure it out. That's crazy. <laughs>